If you want to take the best photograph possible, you need to find the best angle possible. Finding the best possible angle will not always be easy, but a little bit of work and knowledge will most certainly pay off. You want your subject to, to be clearly shown and visible so there is no confusion as to what the subject is. In many scenarios, it will also help if the camera is not too far away from the subject. I want to take a photo of the water, but the camera is too far away and the view is obstructed by the trees, so this would not make a good photograph. So the best camera angle for the shot you're going to take um, highly depends on a couple things. Uh, first of all, it, it depends on the, on the subject itself and uh, and it also d depends on the lighting conditions. And uh, as you can see today, it's pretty sunny. But some of the locations that I'll be in today, they are pretty, sh pretty shady areas. Roads also make great subjects and photographs, especially when you get a worm's eye view of them. But if you are going to take photos of roads, do it safely. Unless you have a permit to have the road closed while shooting, it is best to photograph roads that, that are closed so you can be safe and take great photographs. And nothing will ruin your day any, any worse than, take, than a trip to the hospital. It would not be a good idea to photograph this road. As you can see, there are still cars. As you can see, this road is not closed. It would not be a good idea to photograph this road unless you're standing off to the side. Because as you can see, this road is not closed. Sometimes you will have to hike to the best shooting locations. A little hike through the woods can lead to some fantastic photographs. On this day, I walked to three waterfalls that were either partially frozen or completely frozen, as it's February in Northeast Ohio. I do not forget to look at for shooting locations on your way to the main attraction. You may see a photograph that you have to take. When you're out taking photographs, you will find amazing locations and spots that are often taken for granted. Uh, perhaps there is a small bridge that crosses over a creek or a fault in, in the woods or something. A good shooting location can...
The first one that I am walking to is the smallest of them all. The viewing area of the falls is almost directly overhead of the waterfall itself. Since this waterfall is small and narrow, the viewing area does not provide a great camera angle. For the first, the first time I, I visited this waterfall, there was another photographer who had waded through the creek and was standing close to the base. There's a frozen waterfall, waterfall here. You can see where, where it's cut out the land. You can see a little bit of it right there. Usually, you can get decent views of the railroad up here, but it's closed for now. Bummer. I was planning on show, showing you guys the view from up there, but not today. That'll be a summertime or non-winter active site to see. Uh, just because you see a potential spot does not mean that it will always produce a good photograph. Again, I find myself at a location that should have plenty of great photo opportunities, and it does, but not as many as it could, and most certainly not as many as I can show you at this time. Personally, I have taken in, in photos in locations that had lots and lots of potential, but were simply hard to execute. And the best way to determine if a shooting location is a good location. Just because the the location failed to produce a good photo once, it does not mean that it will continue to produce bad, poor quality photographs. It, so do not, or so do um, try your hardest to to give it a second shot. No pun intended. Look for little nooks and crannies and he's in that spot and uh, maybe maybe one or, or two of them uh, could actually be pretty decent photos. Sometimes shooting locations are in remote areas or areas where you have to really work to get to and that's okay. As many of these areas provide some great views of the attraction. attraction. The spots can be really hard to get to sometimes, but the photos are well worth the work. The location I'm walking to now is in no way remote. It's just a real hike because, because the parking lot is closed and to get there, you have to walk one and a half miles and up 200 feet. I'm doing this because the waterfall has some great views. I'm already feeling this hike and I'm not even halfway to my destination. <sighs> Gotta do it for the photographs though. Well, it was a slippery climb down, but it was worth it, I think. That's what well, looked to be some good photographs, on, I believe. Well, it's not, it's not really echoes around here. Usually, you hear the roar of the... Do not neglect it. small towns and little-known attractions for photographs. Many of them provide amazing angles that are worthy of a photo or two. A venture out into the rural areas for a day and take as many photos as you can without being disrespectful. That will conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love going out on adventures and taking photographs.
And I want to share as many tips as possible to help you be the best photographer you can possibly be. Now go out and enjoy the, the cold weather while it's here. It may be hard because not many, not many people enjoy the cold and the snow. But the snow and the ice look, looks amazing in photographs. That's all for today, and I look forward to seeing your photographs in the future. Bye.